Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's really beautiful outside. I am off work again today. I will be going back tomorrow. But I have decided um, to try and take Wendy out. Isn't that exciting? Um, I have no stroller, but I do have a car seat. So I have decided to take her with me to the doctor's appointment and also to go for a ride with my dad. My dad is coming over soon to, um, well, later too, because we have to, I purchased a door. Oh, I sound like I'm rumbling. I need a new front door. And so I ordered one a few weeks ago. My dad has a truck. I don't. So we're going in this truck, going to pay for the door, pick up the door, and the new door will be installed on Saturday. I can't wait. So before I take her out, though, I need to change her. Oh, she looks so cute. So I picked out a passy for her to wear with her outfit and I'm going to use a clip for it and I'm going to let her use these shoes these shoes came with Megan Hope and I have socks and an outfit and a sweater for her so hopefully I'm not sure I'll try on the sweater first and if it's um I hope it will be warm enough I have all these warm blankets here I have this warm blanket this warm blanket so we'll have her ready to go I'm so excited and nervous too guys to be bringing her out for the first time um yeah because I live in a small town okay I'm totally gonna take this off and she will be leaving it here so yeah Let's see, I hope my face doesn't get in the way of the camera. So, let's see if we can look at her up. Take this out. I will leave that hat on her, though, because it fits her so well. But, <laughs> look at the curliness. Aw, here's Wendy. Yeah, her hair is darker. Uh, Wendy put new hair on her. It used to be kind of red, and now it's brown, a lot like her brother's now. So, but, oh, that looks cute. I could leave it like that. But anyways, I'll just take off the hat. Who's this diaper holding up? Oh, I have two of those wafers in there. I'll just put it on better. These are those huggy creamy ones that I found at Walmart. I decided to put this onesie on her, the monkey one. And it has a hint of that green in there too. So it's been a while since I spent some time with Wendy. Her and Wyatt are one of my top favorites. So, and you know, um, you know how people go through the phases of what they prefer for reborns. Like, I know that Wendy and Wyatt are like really tiny, but and then sometimes I want to. Um, hang out with the bigger babies but every once in a while I do miss this size the newborn the extremely newborn oh she looks so cute okay I hope I didn't move her out of frame on this look so yeah my dad will be here very soon let's move her a little bit and some socks. Mm, these are big on her. That's okay. At least she'll be nice and warm. I have to 
try and make her look authentic. So I want socks on her. Because I have no idea if people are going to want to look at her. Um, I know I live in a small town and, and there are people where I say, Oh, hi, how are you? The weather's nice. And then the end. I don't gossip really and I'm not really social. So I just need to want my big hair right here. Probably my hair. My hair is getting really long. But I'm planning on being a hippie for Halloween, so with my kindergarten kids, it won't be too scary for them. The first year I taught, <laughs> the first year I taught, um, it was grade two, and I thought they were old enough. Oh, she looks so cute. I thought they were maybe old enough to like know like I dressed up as a, a vampire bride and I had fake blood coming out of my mouth and stuff and my kids were scared of me the whole day so I learned not to dress scary so yeah the poor kids they could not concentrate on their work or anything on, on that day Oh, Wendy, you're so beautiful. Oh, speaking of Wendy, but you anything, that was her <laughs> messaging me. I have to hurry up anyway. My dad will be here soon. I'm going to take you out vlog style. So hopefully it'll work out. But for now, I'm just changing Wendy into her little outfit. And hopefully, oh, she is so cute. Okay, oh my goodness. See, I hope these shoes will fit. Oh, it's like a fake ribbon. Okay. Well, Megan is pretty. Oh, yeah, they fit. Yay, they fit. We can share some shoes. Yes, because I don't have many little shoes. Like, tiny ones like this. This must be like a size zero or something. Oh, they fit. Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, there's a pacifier. I'll try and do it in front you guys this is when I had to modify I've done a video about that before what pacifiers fit good for the twin A so oh, oh fit really good okay can put this one on there make sure I go right oh I want to close my legs, thank you. It's easier if I do this right here. But then her jacket's down. My real boys, they didn't have a passy for that long. So I didn't really... I think I clipped this out to the car seat, actually. Okay, I'm going to put this hat on her. With some hair showing. Like, <laughs> like that. Oh, she's cute. Make sure her ears are covered. Oh, she's cute. Okay, Let's see what you can see. Oh, I'm sorry, not everything. Okay, so here's her car seat. Like that. This is I got the car seat. Oh, I wonder if I should shut the curtains a bit. Oh, it's not 
so, so much of a weird there is that better okay I'll go like this Not nothing. Now I know this bottom part of my car seat is like really, really loose. I don't know if you can see that. But it's easier keeping it loose because I have, when I put the different babies in here, it, I'm not totally readjusting all the time. So what I do is Let's see, I'll adjust it like this, and then I'll just tuck it behind her to make it look. Okay, and then I'll take this. I used to always um, clip these like onto the car seat itself, like that. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, and I used to have. I forgot, I just remembered, when my kids were young, like this young, like when these, like newborn, I used to have receiving blankets and I'd tuck them. Like I need another receiving blanket. Um, this is a thicker blanket. This is a sleeping bag, bag kind of blanket. And this one is a really super warm, fluffy kind. Oh, like this big one, red. I want the pink part showing. So, maybe I'll use this one. I think it's too thick, though. Yeah, it's too thick right here. Yeah. Oh. What does that look like? Can you guys see? No, this is too thick. I used receiving blankets, not... Okay, I need a receiving blanket. Well, I have this muslin blanket. This is thin enough. Use this. When my sons were young, there were no such thing as these muslin blankets. Oh, the hair! See, long hair everywhere. This one could be thinner. My dad might be coming. Perfect timing. <sighs> Perfect timing. Okay, maybe I'll try this one first. Oh, what a thick blanket. But oh. Maybe I don't need this. She's so young and she's sleeping. And then I need a blanket for like maybe that's what this one could be. Or maybe I'll use this one. 
window. I'll turn to see how it works. Let's see if we can do that. And then, well, I should bring a bottle. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to add a bottle. And there she is. Aww. She's so beautiful. Does she look real, guys? Okay, um, I'm going to stop this and put a bottle in there close by her and off I go. Okay guys, I have Wendy here. I have my shoes on and I have a puddle tucked in behind her. So let's you know that kind of bottle. So pretty. I like it. But I'll tuck it in behind there, make sure it's snug so it doesn't like go on her or anything. Okay. So oh, it's my cool. door is old. This is a door I need to get replaced. No one broke in or anything. It's just really, really old. But I'm going to get a steel door and replace that bottom ugly part. And I'm not going to clean up around here because it's going to be quite messy anyway. So I got my keys. Or sort of. How, how do people do this? <laughs> how do people hold on like that? I don't know. I've never done this before, guys. So anyways. Our fence needs to be painted too. It's my van, my dirty van. Okay, it's very dirty, guys. So I'll plan her on putting her in this seat, I guess. So. Yeah, my back, back of the van is still, uh, still down from camping and all that. I know, I know, I have a lot of work to do. So I'm get her in here. And it's actually really nice out. It's not even that hot. And I'm gonna have to put the seatbelt like this way. There's a thing right here. So and then oh, I'm trying to do this one hand, it's not easy. to have like a husband to help me <laughs> when the kids were little or the other kids. Where's the thing? Oh. There. Pull it really tight. There. She's ready to go, guys.
Yes, I'm a fan of Betty Boop. I used to be. I have like Betty Boop stuff all over. But anyways, um, yeah, I went with my dad for a ride. It was really amazing. So I am home now. Um, we both met at the store. And actually the door is here already. So that's good. So I'm going to get out. And get Wendy. Oh, sorry. I don't need to get you all dizzy. Oh, and how was it? Hey. Did you cry? No, she didn't cry at all. She's still sleeping. I didn't even have to use this. Okay. Really quiet. Okay. Um, it's not that cold out, so I won't cover up her face. Size is not even that far. Oh, I have to it my way. Where I teach, look, like my van. See that where? Yeah. Where I teach is on a gravel road and I do it like every day. So like look I have to tape this up. My van jiggled so much that it broke many things broke. That broke off. See that. <laughs> that broke off. Those door things broke off. Oh. Good money teaching out there, but it's havoc on your vehicles. Havoc. Okay. Hey guys, I am back, and look how much time has gone. Look, I have my three on the couch. But yeah, remember when the sun was shining in here? <laughs> now it's completely gone. It's still a beautiful day, though. I love it. It was so nice. <laughs> so anyways, we are back home, and here is Wendy Christina. Oh, she is so cute. So let's take this off. I took my rings off. I washed my hands. I have this thing about, um, <sighs> I have a thing about washing my hands. I need to have clean hands. And after my dad's drive, like, my dad, he smokes, actually, and we don't smoke. So I just felt like I had to wash my hands. So oh, she's still sleeping. And I took off my sweater because it's really warm now. I feel really warm. And the door is here, you guys. Oops. <laughs> it sounded like I almost woke her up. Oh, she's so cute. So let's undo this. Oh, oh, pressing the wrong one. I'm pressing in my real son's... Um, car seat that I used to have, it used to have a button right here to open. So this one's a bit different. This one I bought used from a a lady who was selling her car seat and it was almost expired like within that upcoming year. Like only like maybe four months left of being good like being safety. So she was selling it really, really cheap. I got this thing for like $30. It was wonderful. There's a few stains on it and stuff. But the one that I used to have, we donated. 
or I donated, I gave it to somebody. So, um, uh, you want to see the new door? Okay. See, so, yeah, the sun is like, is shining now from the other side of the house. So, it's right here. And <laughs> I'm propane tank from the camper is down there. So, yeah, this is our new door, although you can't really see anything, but I'm like, so this is the the bottom frame for, okay, this is totally not reform related, but um, this, this bottom part, so we're going to have to take off this storm door and put on the new one. This is the old one. It's really, really old. The reason why we had to do this is because um, every summer when it gets super hot, this it sticks to here, and we can't open it. Like, look how old this is. It's really, really old. Extremely old. So, yeah, we're going to replace it all. But I ordered one that will have... Uh, actually, it's a lot like my other door. My other door. So, I guess this is kind of like vlog style too. Oh, look at those guys. Look how, oh, I got a vacuum. Come on, I got the all these away. I cleaned out my closet here. So, yeah. It's a lot like this door. It has that at the top of it. So, yeah, this is this is our good door. Except for, for uh, my fiancé, Francis, wants to get a new doorknob for it. Like a better one. It feels so hot. This is from our front. Ooh, is that a spider? There's a fly. Well, look at that tree. Remember the other day it still had leaves on it? Now look at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful day though. It's really beautiful. So, yeah. I can't wait to get on the flight, fell. I can't wait to put that new door on it. It's gonna be great. And he wants to put um, a deadbolt on here too. So. Yes, here's my Wendy Christina in my messy living room. Oh, messy, messy. I have to cuddle with you and then clean up around here. Excuse me. Take off your hand. Oh, oh your hair is messy. That's okay. Oh, I can't wait to hold her. Excuse me, jeez. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for joining me. And sorry if it was a little long for you. I've never done an outing video before. So I know that I didn't I didn't want to talk when I was at the doctor's office. And you know what? I totally forgot to pan down on Wendy. So, ugh. What kind of outing video is this? <laughs> Just kidding. I tried, guys. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed it a little bit and seen a little bit about where I live. That was on the south side of town where we have farms. On the north side, we have all lakes, which is where I grew up. So I grew up at a lake and um, I grew up around wolves and bears and um, moose and deer and then on the south of town I had no idea I lived here since I was four years old and I didn't know that the paw that's where I live I had no idea that we had farms that we have cows and horses and some people used to have pigs I don't know if they have pigs anymore but I do know that they have cows and horses and there is a farm with buffalo and um, reindeer so that's pretty cool we didn't see any of those animals though during my dad's trip but yeah it was really fun I enjoy being out with my dad he's getting really old now he's 
in his 70s, I believe. So, yeah, he is in his 70s. Wow. No, he's 69, turning 70. So, yeah, can't believe that. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining. And until next time, take care and love you.